Hey guys, horns up and welcome to another episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a delicious garlic and rosemary lamb. No wait, no lamb because we don't get lamb in India, we get mutton. So I'm going to be making a delicious garlic and rosemary mutton with some beautiful roasted potatoes to go with it. Now last time I told you I was going to be supporting more of my fellow Indian metal bands and today I am representing and sporting a gut slit t-shirt. Click on the t-shirt and you can watch my interview on Headbangers Kitchen with them. They are a kick ass death grind band so if you like that kind of music please give them a listen. Anyway now let's go and make that delicious garlic and rosemary mutton with roast potatoes. Yum 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 yum. So we start by taking a huge bowl and putting our mutton in it. Now I am using boneless mutton from the leg but you can use any of your favorite cuts of meat. Next I add in some potatoes which I chopped up and parboiled for about 15 minutes. And the reason that I do that is so that the potatoes become nice and fluffy inside and crispy on the outside when they are cooked. Which for some reason when you just cook them without parboiling they don't have quite the same effect. The next thing we are going to do is add some freshly chopped rosemary to the mix. Next I add in a whole lot of garlic because I love garlic. So a lot of freshly chopped garlic. I am going to season generously with some salt and some pepper and a nice big glug of olive oil. Then I give this a good mix. And now I'm just going to put this in the fridge to marinate for at least 2 hours. You can even leave it overnight, the flavors will only get more infused. So make sure you preheat your oven to 180 degrees and keep it ready. There's nothing worse than putting your meat in a cold oven. That's what she said. So our mutton has been marinating and we're now going to put it in the oven in our roasting tray for about 40 minutes till it's cooked nice and tender. Make sure you pour in all that oil from the marination all that rosemary all that garlic you want all of that in there and now it's time to put this in the oven so now the mutton has been cooking for about 20 minutes and we're just going to take it Hold out it and give everything a little bit of a turn and put it back in time to turn it up a notch and turn it to 200 degrees celsius for the last 20 minutes so our mutton has been cooking for a good 30 to 35 minutes and it's fully cooked through and we're going to get it out of the oven now. You can see the mutton has been cooked beautifully. You can see all that garlic, that rosemary. Oh look at that, that is beautiful. Mmm, that looks delicious. And there you have it, our delicious lamb is ready but there's still one more step left. We're going to make a little bit of a jus with these delicious pan juices. So what we're going to do is get the pan on a nice medium high heat. Make sure you add a splash of water to your pan and then you want to scrape out any of the brown bits that you can see. That's all good flavor right there. Now just to make this easier for you to see I'm going to take it all out in a little frying pan. And now you're just going to let that boil away and reduce down to a nice thick consistency. Now while this is boiling away, I'm going to add a quarter of a beef stock cube just to give it even more flavor. So just drop that in and let that melt away. This cube has salt so I will not even need to season this further. It should be perfect. I'm going to add in some more fresh black pepper. And I like a nice peppery sauce, but if you don't, don't add any pepper. And look, you can see the jus coming together nicely now. This is a good time to taste your sauce. And you can see the sauce has reduced down nicely. And I'm just going to do one last thing and throw in a swig of Old Monk just for a little bit of sweetness. Just a swig or maybe a little more if you feel like a little drunky drunky. Give that a little stir, the alcohol will cook off. Taste your sauce one last time and we're good to go. That my friends is done. And now we will spoon some of that jus over the mutton. 
And there you have it. Our delicious rosemary and garlic mutton with roasted potatoes is ready. That looks delicious. Alright guys, so the mutton and the potatoes are done. They look delicious. I'm going to just dig into this potato. It looks all golden on the outside. Mmm. And it's perfect. It's so fluffy and soft and fully cooked through for a change. Mmm. That is delicious. And of course, the star, the hero, the mutton. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Wow. That's perfect. That just hits the spot. Mmm. So good. It's fully cooked. It's tender. Man, mutton. Mutton is good stuff. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Make sure you give us the thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tell me what you'd like me to make on the next episode of the show. And till next time, cheers and keep cooking. I'm going to go back and eat this. Mm, that is